If you live in ocean shores or are just visiting for a few days, you might be wondering what is there to do besides visiting the beach? In this video, we'll take you along with us as we explore just a fraction of what Ocean Shores has to offer. Our first stop is the Weather Rex Trail just off of Duck Lake Drive. Roughly in the center of town is this 121 acre parcel known as the Weather Wax Nature Preserve, the last sizable piece of underdeveloped property in Ocean Shores. This loop trail winds through the coastal forest of the Weather Wax Preserve and skirts along the edge of Duck Lake. The trail is 1.2 miles all the way around, and this is a great walk for kids and dogs because it's flat and an easy route compared to most trails. It takes most people about an average of 20 to 30 minutes to complete and if you love nature, visiting this trail is a must. If you like walking along the beach, another great option is Damon Point, but if it's real windy out, these tall trees will make for a much more peaceful walk and will shield you from the harsh winds of the beach. There are some tree roots and big rocks, so just watch your step. And don't forget your mosquito repellent. The weather wax has at least two dozen kinds of vegetation, including ancient Sitka spruce, more than four feet in diameter, as well as 57 varieties of mushrooms and other fungi. It's also home to just under 100 animal species, ranging from hummingbirds to black bears. There's Duck Lake. Most of Ocean Shores Peninsula was a cattle ranch when Marion Weatherwax, the daughter of Grace Harbor pioneers, became that parcel's owner in 1954. And as developers were planning Ocean Shores in the 1960s, she refused to sell her land. But more than 30 years later, it did go on the market. For several years, the city looked at a variety of possible uses for the land, including a public park, a golf course expansion, an aquarium, and a development of 27 houses. So preservation versus development became a political issue in the 2007 city council and mayoral elections. The following year, the council placed the issue on an advisory ballot, and that November, Ocean Shore citizens voted to retain all 120 acres. By the way, if you're liking our Ocean Shores content, help us out by giving us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Check out this neat tree. You can tell it's been here a long time. I don't think a lot of people know about this trail, so there wasn't as many people as you would expect. Our next stop is Ken Peterson Park, right off of Ocean Shores Boulevard. This park is one of five that are in the Ocean Shores Community Club. And as a property owner, you may have access to the three swimming pools and all the amenities that Ocean Shores Community Club has to offer. This facility includes an outdoor heated pool and changing rooms with showers and restrooms. 
By the way, the restrooms and the grounds in general are all very clean and very well kept. There is also a nice up-to-date park that my kids love and refer to as the Blue Playground, and you can see why. There is also a large picnic pavilion and perfect for parties. There's also a large basketball court and two tennis courts. Dogs are welcome here, but they do have to be on a leash. Come and meet Bear. This is Michaela's cute little guy. Next, we decided to sugar it up over at Murphy's Homemade Ice Cream and Candy. This place is right next to the beach entrance off of Chance Alamere, and they make their waffle cones here from scratch, and they're just so good. And besides ice cream, they have fudge, shakes, and lots of saltwater taffy and a variety of candy. Today, we got lots of cookies and cream, coconut almond joy, and a blue raspberry sorbet. There wasn't any seating inside, but there are a couple of benches outside, and luckily it was a nice sunny day and there was just enough space for five. Another popular place among Ocean Shore's residents is the Bayshore Clubhouse. The most favorite amenity that we like to come for is the indoor heated pool. And it isn't usually this crowded, but this was a rainy Memorial Day weekend. Another place that we like to visit is Oihad Bakery and Market. They have the most delicious pastries and coffee. And while we're there, sometimes we'll take a stroll out to the playground. And this is a community of vacation homes and nightly rentals. So if you're interested in purchasing a home that you can rent out as a nightly rental, send us an email and we can get you more information. Besides the playground, they have a volleyball court, a giant chess set, and even cornhole. Hey, I think she cheated. <laughs> And this was a first for us, but we decided to go check out Shores Bowl. Shores Bowl is right off of Chance Alamere, right across the street from Murphy's. They had a pretty decent menu of snacks, and today we ordered pizza and fries. The kids liked it. Also, they had an arcade and pool tables. And last but not least, what visit to Ocean Shores would be complete without going to one of the many beaches? Today, we're at Damon Point, and it was such a beautiful day, and as always, perfect for kite flying. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.